Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export videos using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've just got a basic project set up uh, so that I can demonstrate how to export video from Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Let's open up Magic's. Let's go to File Open and open this particular project. This was just a little demonstration file showing how to do transitions between video clips. So I've used this sort of transition here and I explained that in my previous tutorial. If you want to learn more about Magic's Movie Edit Pro, then subscribe to my channel and I'll be doing lots of different tutorials explaining how to use this software to do video editing. So the goal of this tutorial today is to show you how to export video. There's, two, there's a few, actually a few different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I do it, but there's a couple of different ways. Right, so normally what people would do or what you would expect to do is go to this button here and it says open up the dialog to do exporting. So when you click that button, the little up arrow here, it says output video as a file, export it for a mobile device or upload it to the internet. Normally I would always export the file, save it on my computer so I can upload it to Facebook, I can upload it to YouTube separately at separate times and you know, I can work with the file a bit better. So just click on output as video file. So when you do that, you'll get some options here. In this first option is really about the quality. Now as default, I make all my videos 1920 by 1080, so it's HD resolution. So typically, if your video content is 720p, then it will default to video quality one, which is 1280 by 720. But we want to have full HD resolution. And then you've got options to choose different file formats. As default, it's going to export as Windows Media Video. And this is basically a, it will come out as a good file, good quality, but it will be a lower compression, so it will be a lower file size. But you can export it as MPEG-4, but the file will be much larger. So really all you've got to do is click this Save Video button, and it will start to um, export. It's going to ask you where you want to export. So let's click Save Video, and that's going to take me to my computer. I'm going to click Cancel and then I'll just give it a file name and then continue to save the video. This is one way of doing it, but the problem of doing it this way is once you start that export, you can't really minimize Magic's Move Edit Pro. A window will open and it will show you the timeline of how much video has been completed, but you can't minimize the software. So the way I do it is to go to File, Batch Process. Now, I'll explain Batch Process in more detail in my next video, but for now, let's click on Batch Process. And as default, you have a few different options here. Um, you can export chapters, specific elements of your of your video clips. You may want to export only a part of it, but we want to export multiple videos. In this example, we're not actually going to export multiple videos, but if we click here, as default, the project that we're working on is going to add it to the, the queue. And then you can add more um, projects to the queue. I'm going to explain that in my next video, batch processing. But the one that's selected is highlighted blue. And in this drop down, now we get much more different options. We can export in different file formats. It's more robust, it's more detailed in terms of the export. So as default, again, it's Windows Media. But I'm going to select MPEG-4. That's a really good compression and quality. And we're going to click on Advanced Settings. And in Advanced Settings, you get more detailed drill down of the different options. So you can change the resolution, you can change the frame rate from here, you can change the aspect ratio, you can click on Advanced. And you can change the bit rate to reduce the quality, but also reduce the file size. But as default, Magix really sets this up as a good template uh, as default for exporting video content in MP4 file format. So let's click this open folder and we'll go to my desktop. Let's find this project and we'll just save this file here. Let's just call it example export-01 and let's click the save button. And then that's all you've got to do. You can apply anti-interlace flickering, but that, that's really down to the quality of your video and how it's been captured. Normally, I just tick that on because it's not going to hurt. And calculate video effects on the GPU. So use the graphic uh, process, process on your computer rather than the, 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 um, the actual computer's processor to calculate any sort of effects. And that will just speed up the render. We'll click OK, and then we'll click Start Processing. So once we click the Start Processing, you can see the video will start to export. Um, I'm going to pause this video and we'll wait for it to finish and then we can check the export. Okay, the video is almost exported. So it's had a few seconds left. And I can minimize this, right? Remember, you can minimize while it's exporting. We can click the OK button and the video is finished exporting. Let's minimize this and open up the folder. Inside of this folder, we'll have this new file called export. Dash zero one. Let's just close this and we'll open up that video file to see what the quality looks like.
Okay, so overall you can see the video quality is very good. It's good for uploading to YouTube, uploading to Facebook. If you export as an MP4 file, the file format is going to be much larger in terms of file size, but the quality is going to be much better as well. So I normally export all my content as MP4 files, and then when we upload them to YouTube or we upload them to Facebook, um, the compression uh, that Facebook or YouTube will apply will retain the quality of the video, right? But I've tested um, Windows Media files as well. They're much smaller file sizes, but the quality is still there as well. It's really down to you whether you want to, you know, upload a gig file or if you want to upload maybe a 500 megabyte file that's kind of the difference in terms of sizes between those two file formats so that's how i go about exporting video content using magic's movie edit pro although we only exported one video i use the batch processing function because i can minimize magic's movie edit pro carry on working on other things and then come back when it's finished exporting in my next tutorial i'll show you how to export multiple videos using the batch process function i hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.